So we got to talk about race. So I was going through Google News and I know I haven't been uploading these types of videos, but it's because bullshit, you know, YouTube's anyway. So Dexter hits me up and tells me that they nerfed race running and I thought, no way. And what was the reason he said? He said apparently that when race runs away, she's harder to hit. Bull shit. And let me tell you why it's bullshit. I have a harder time hitting Wraith when she's running. Well, no, when she's going side by side. When she's going side by side shooting me, that's when I have a problem fucking hitting her. When she's running away, I don't have a problem hitting that bitch with fucking alternators or any kind of gun in general. Alternator gets her. My G7 gets her. I can hit her with a Kraber shot. Now, before anybody says, oh, anybody can hit Wraith with a Kraber shot, you motherfuckers are the same people like me who state that she's so hard to hit. I mean, there's memes out there about her not being able to hit her, but when you play as her, you get your asses hit. It's ridiculous. So what this uh, website says here is, Respawn Entertainment dropped a substantial update, did I say that right? For Apex Legends on Monday, kicking off the Battle Royale's games crossplay beta, Flashpoint, limited time mode, and aftermarket collecting event, blah, blah, blah. According to Respawn's patch notes, the update also includes balance changes to Legends like Bloodhound, Wraith, Loba, and Pathfinder. Now, Pathfinder is fine. He is fine. There's nothing wrong with him. He was just as OP as anybody. And in fact, his hitbox was just as small as Wraith's. She did, he does not need a buff. His little stupid Spider-Man shit, it's fine. Loba? I don't have an issue with Loba. I have no issue with her. I mean, they could work on her jump drive, but that her, she's fine. Bloodhound, I, I can agree. Bloodhound is a little overpowering. A little overpowering, but the thing is, you could deal with him. If you keep at a distance, you could deal with him. So, I mean, and if you got a shotgun. Especially if you got, if you got the uh, Mastiff, the Mastiff will take him out. But then again, you gotta get lucky with your shots. So, Wraith, I've always had an issue with Wraith. But I have to draw the fucking line here. Patching up her running is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And, and not to mention, not to mention her costume, the cat robot shit. That is the stupidest costume I've ever seen. No disrespect to whoever develops her, whoever develops her fucking her attire, attire. Whoever does that, no disrespect to you, but you could have done better. You could have done way better. What is it with these cats and cyborgs? It's like, did somebody play uh, that stupid game? What is it called? Watch Dogs and decided to watch a cat video after? Because... She looks like some bullshit wannabe fucking hacker. Like it's it's ridiculous. It's stupid. Do you guys not know what a wraith is? Do you do you not know what a wraith is? A wraith is a ghost. It's it's a ghost that's been used in all kinds of media, from movies to video games, especially video games. It's a freaking ghost. She's a ghost. So how do you go from a stupid cat robot to a ghost? Anyway, let's get back to that later. Right here it says, right here it says in these article, why change it? Like, he, he's even a little GIF video. Let's check this GIF out. Wow. That is sad, dude. That is sad. I mean, she looked good. <laughs> she looked good running in both animations. She looked good. But this is just sad, dude. This is incredibly sad. Now, why is it that they're doing it? Well, let's see right here. Respawn discovered that race sprinting animations are unique in how much they artificially shorten her by hunching over, thus shrinking her shootable area from the perspective of the enemy that doesn't sound like a lot, but taken together with already the small hitbox is a lot of power. Race new sprinting animations are much more upright and exposure larger area to the uh, larger area of her gun body gun fire. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of over okay you know what I kind of agree with them now that I read that part because I'm going at this blindly this is the first time I'm reading this article and it's my polygon huh well anyways I thought it was Dick Serto well okay I can kind of understand that because look at let's look at that again they have a point you so you're looking at this area I'm not trying to be a pervert but you're looking at this area to shoot kind of a little difficult especially if you're using a gun like the only gun i could think of that has a, a hip fire or a fire rate where it goes up r99s havocs g7s especially on double tap and most people have it on a double tap yeah you're gonna have a problem hitting her when she's running away but this is ridiculous 
I kind of understand why they did this because in Gears of War, I know this is a different video game, but hear me out on this logic. Do you see the way the gears run? Like, I'll, I'll, if I find some footage, I'll post it up. But gears. That one was on the house. Good luck to them. Get up those stairs. Alpha's waiting. They hunch over, just exactly like they said right here, by hunching over, they hunch over to cover their head. Because in the game, when you're chasing them, or when you're trying to shoot at them, they're hunched over. But in Gears, they're freaking huge. You can still hit them. So I know that kind of logic is thrown out the window because the characters are huge, like I said. But the, in the game's lore, hunch over while you're running, it's meant to protect your head. That's pretty much why they do that. They run that way to not only make themselves smaller, because the smaller the target, the harder it is to hit. So I understand why they're doing this, but it's still like, it's dumb. Because I gotta, I don't like Wraith. I mean, I like her as a character, lore wise and everything. She's a great character. She's really cool. She's unique. She's, according to Dexter, she is technically the strongest character in the game. And she is because she knows every scenario of every universe. She's basically psychic. She's a god, a god is, if you will. So, so she fucking, she destroy everybody in this damn game. And lore wise, yes, she would destroy everybody. I can see why the devs are doing this, but she did not need this. She did not need this because this is not, this is actually not fair. I have to take the Wraith fanboy sides and fangirl sides this is not right. Honestly, I think there should be an uproar because she had the most nerfs and I could agree that her teleportation does take a long time, but it's a fair nerf, you guys. It's a fair nerf. She's already hard enough to hit. Every fucking wannabe pro player out there fucking uses her. You know, she's just that character that's like, who gives, you know what I mean? Like, now everybody's not gonna use her anymore because she doesn't run like Naruto. And that anime sucks. Go ahead and just like the video, I don't care. The, I don't like that they did that to her. I really don't like it. It already sucks. Cause I mean, she, she looks good. I can't get over it, she looks bomb. She's a bomb character running around, she's hotter than Loba. Yeah, I said it. Let's fight in the chat at the park. Like dude, she looks great, she's fine. I don't know, I can still hit her head. I can still hit it. Damn right I can still hit it. Not that way, but you know, I can hit the target. Nah, dude, it, it, her, this wasn't right. They needed, I want them to change it back. If they have such an issue with how hard she is to hit, why not expand her hitbox? Or maybe that's the wrong idea. Maybe I'm looking at it at the fan's point of view and I'm not looking at it as a developer's point of view. Because I get it, they want to make the game fun, they want to make it fair, and Wraith is very popular. Be this is the reason why she's very popular because she's incredibly hard to hit and she's really fast. I can understand that. But still, this is really stupid. It's, it's really dumb. I mean, getting rid of Skull Town was one thing, but destroying a character who's basically the face of the game? Her and Bloodhound and Jibby? They're basically the face of the game. Because they were the first three to be on the cover. Now the developer says right here, is now we know her old sprint was iconic and we hate to see it go as well but we believe this is the best way by far of bringing her in line without having a little bit of abilities again what depending on what we see after the animations go live we may even be able to put some power back into her abilities no promises though you son of a bitch respawn you sons of bitches i think you guys are completely out of touch with your game I think they're really out of touch with their fucking game. Like, can you, so, where does it justify? Oh my god, I'm a loss for words. That's the stupidest thing I've heard. So, so, if I'm hearing this right, you're gonna cut her running animation, which made her really cute and iconic. Besides her gorgeous voice and, and great ass, you're gonna. Tweak her abilities probably back to the way it was because of a running animation? What kind of bullshit is that? Yo, what kind of fucking bullshit? No, dude, no, no, no. As a Wraith hater, 
and a Wraith lover beneath his... Wraith hater on the streets, but Wraith lover in the sheets? No. This is stupid. And I, and I encourage the Wraith community out there, the Wraith lovers, the Wraith fangirls, Wraith fanboys, that like all you bitches who who probably makes some yaoi or some crap between her and Naruto and that's why she runs or maybe Naruto banged a ghost and then that became her, etc. Whatever bullshit that you guys come up with of how much you guys love Wraith, I encourage you guys to go on strike or something and tell Apex Legends like, God, no, no, no. You could keep her ugly nerfs with the way the portal works and the way her phasing works, but please bring back her running. This is ridiculous. I want to know who decided against this because I do know that there there was a, a, a Twitch streamer out there who, who complained about the game, and that is why the shields are the way they are today. The, the, those stupid, the, the, the fucking Evo shields. The reason why the Evo shields are even in the game in the first place is because some streamer, some crybaby streamer was the one who, who cried about it. He's like, oh, there's not enough of this crap everywhere, so let's get this crap. All because he was too bad at the game, he didn't know how to look for a level 3 shield. Yeah, I said it. That's ridiculous. I'm upset. I'll make a separate video talking crap about our costume, but they did Wraith dirty. They did our girl dirty. And if I were you guys, I would cancel your freaking subscriptions. This is ridiculous. Respawn, this sucks. You guys, I think you guys are out of touch with your guys' character. Screw what the pros have to say. Forget the pros. They're nothing. There's a bunch of windbags. I wanted to say another funny word, but I think somebody would say, oh, that's racist or something. Ever watch? It's from a movie. Scallywag. There we go. I'll see you guys later.